Hi class, even though this, there is a video on this, I'm going to do my own. It's going to be an abbreviated version of that. So here we are, Adobe Illustrator. Let's create new and let's create a portrait document here. Come on, new. All right, so we got a letter here. If the orientation is portrait, it's in inches. We are set to go. CMYK color high and whatever. Okay, I'm going to do two artboards because I like to have two artboards when I'm kind of experimenting and playing around or if I want to do something on the side. So this is how I usually start. Okay, so let's do create. And here we are. Okay, let's put all these back in where they belong. Okay, and let's put this back in here so we can demo all this properly. All right, obviously I've been working on this. Oops, gotta move this back. Okay, there you go. I've been er working on this earlier. Now, again, I work in Essentials Classic. Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. You can work in uh, Essentials, which is actually the newer one, but I like Essentials Classic because it gives me all of these little icons here. And quite frankly, I'm just used to working this way. Uh, I will probably transition eh, maybe six months into just essentials. But when you go to essentials, it just changes it a lot. Okay? And I just like my the way it was back. So when you're working with me, please just do this. Okay? And if you don't, the screen is going to look different. So go to essentials classic. So here we go. I'm going to work on this one on the left. The first one, if you look at the uh, explanation for, uh, let's see, what did I call this? I called it the uh, Guide for Object Tools Project. Okay, if you go to that, what we're going to do first of all is, uh, this is the Ellipse tool. It can be usually in, in the tool, this toolbox area, control area. Uh, it usually shows as a rectangle. What the directions is from Bonnie, the other video, she'll say to tear this off. So what that means is open it up and, oops, let's close this, cancel. Open this up by right-clicking here on this little triangle. And you get this as a swing out uh, menu. Okay, and then if you go here and click on this, you get just get the bar and then you can open it up. And, and pull it over wherever you want it. So it's kind of convenient. We can put it right above. And these are what we want to work with. I don't work with this one. It's called the flare tool. So if you want to experiment, go ahead. Uh, I, don't, I don't work with it. So I'm going to work with these five. So let's start with the rectangle tool, okay? Let's first set things up color-wise. Here, 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 wherever you want to do your color. Let's do it here. I want the inside white. I'm going to click here. And I want the stroke, the outside border, black. So we have it. All right. Stroke is one point. All right. Rectangle. Click. Hold down your mouse. Pull. Rounded rectangle. Click. Pull. There you go. Ellipse, ellipse, polygon, polygon, whoop, I reset this, let me, uh, let me set this for five, there we go, polygon, and then the star, oops, I also reset that. I want five points. Okay, let's get rid of this. All right, here you are. Those are the five, one, two, three, four, five real basic shapes. Adobe Illustrator is all about shapes. I think you realize that by now, shapes and lines. All right, Photoshop is pixels. Okay, InDesign layout. 
InDesign brings all this stuff in. Photoshop, Illustrator. Your meeting will end in 10 minutes. Hmm. That's not good. Uh, if this does end, I'll send out another one. Hmm. That's unusual. Okay. So here we go with these. Now, uh, if you look at the, uh, the sheet, there are some uh, explanations of how to have a little bit more control over this. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to draw, draw this. Watch, I'm going to hold down the Option key. Or what does she do first? She does the Shift key first. Hold down the Shift, click. I don't think that's doing anything. Let's do the Option key. That'll, that'll mean it'll go from the center. Okay, hold down your Option key and then pull. It goes right from the center. Let's choose this one. Option key from the center out. Circle or ellipse. Center out. This by the way too. This is a this is looser. It can really this is like likes to move. Okay? So that's that. The only other thing really on here is you will notice that for some for this shape, it's got those little circles with the dot in the middle. If you click on it, let's make this larger. You can move it by holding the dot or, or the side here. Now, if you click on this and there's all of them, there's all four, then all four are going to move. Okay? Watch. There you go. Command Z goes B, undo. Okay, I, won't, I only want to do one. Okay? Let's go with the direct selection tool. No, see all four? Nope. Got to click right on just that. All right. Notice there's only one. Click, pull. So then you can just do that one. All right. Let's get rid of this. Okay, let's do a balloon. Let's do a big balloon. Okay, let's go on this side. Uh, here we are. Uh, that's the ellipse tool. And I'm going to make just, just going to kind of eyeball a circle, a little more elongated than a circle. I'm going to move it. I just want to be in the middle. Okay. Now, Let's put a color and a gradient in it. First of all, let's get rid of the stroke. We don't need the stroke. I'm going to do none. Okay, there we go. Now let's click this. This is the fill. So this is forward. So this is, means it's active. Okay, let's do a green. I'm going to close this up. I'd like you to work. I'd like you not to work with these right now. I would like you to work with swatches. Now, if you don't have swatches, go up to Window and do swatches. It's right there. Now, if I let go, it'll make mine probably disappear. No, it didn't. It opened it up, actually. So that was good. Okay. My shape is selected. I'm going to do green. Okay. Kind of a grass green. Nothing too exciting, but it's okay. I'm going to pull this over here, too. I'm going to rip it off. All right, I want to do a gradient. I want to do a radial gradient, and I want the sun to hit it about here. So this will be the highlight. So let's do that. Let's go down here, and where's my gradient? Right here. Click. I'm going to rip this off, too. Okay. Now, your gradient always defaults to black and white. I want my gradient to be green. So first of all, you've got to select one of these. I'm going to select the gradient uh, radial. There we go. Okay, it's black. This is the color. What do I do? Watch this. Let's pick a different green, more interesting. How about this green, more of a kind of a blue-green? Click. All you have to do is 
drop it in there. Or, Command-Z, let's just double click. See how that came up? And where's my color, my kind of blue-green? Right there. Okay. Eh, I don't like it. There we go. Okay, there's my gradient. Okay. Now, there is a gradient on this side, too. Notice that? There's one here, and there's the one right here that, that was in here. Okay. So, watch what this one does. Select. We can fine-tune the gradient by using this. See what popped up there? I want you to experiment with this on your own. This thing gets really complicated, and I'm not going to go over all of it, but I am going to demo a little of it, and I am going to give you some links, too, for you to go and learn how to use this. It's really important that you understand this. Watch this. I'm just going to move this thing in the middle. See the control you have? Okay, watch. I can pick this whole thing up and reposition it. See that? I can move this. I can move this again. I can move this. This has a lot of control. A lot of control. Now, I'm after a much more natural. Okay, let's see if I got it. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a kind of a line here. Not too bad. Let's see if we can do a little better. Excuse me. How did you get on in? Uh, I can't hear you. What? How did you get that line? This line? Just click on this um, gradient tool. Icon. Okay. Is that what you mean? Because I want to fix this. This isn't. Yeah. yeah, this is not what I want. I have a question. Yes. For the white gradient you're making, yes. is it a second shape with a light opacity that you're using? This or is it it's this, it's white and it's right here. And if I want it not to be so bright, and I am having honestly I'm having a little bit of trouble with this. Um I'm going watch, I'm gonna double click on this white. And I'm going to choose the color I'm working with, but I am going to do it lighter. Okay. Okay. So, so there. So my question to my question to clarify is: Do you have that as a second shape on top of your original green? No, it's not. Ellipse. It's oh. one shape. Pop this see, yeah, uh, this this now is like showing you. This is imaginary. This shows you kind of what, see this is what actually I'm after. I want to put this there. But that doesn't